Hi, my name is Steve Hayes. I'm with Allsafe Industries, and today I'm going to talk to you about Draeger gas detection. Uh, one of the things I was surprised about on our YouTube channel is that our Draeger videos have more views than any of our other videos, and I give credit to the fact that the Draeger brand is very popular around the world, and so a lot of people have watched our videos, so I thought we'd do another one. Uh, today we're going to talk about the four gas meter platform and the multi gas meter platform. They've got their old XM2500 and XM5000 series, but then we also have the new XM3500 and the XM8000. So I'm going to compare and contrast those two different platforms and talk about some of the features and benefits that come with each meter. So as we get to talking about the meters, we'll talk about the number of sensors that you can have in each unit. We'll talk about the battery technology, your pump options for each one, and then the charging capability uh, because there's something brand new that Draeger introduced with the new XM3500 and the XM8000 platform that I want to show you. And then I'm going to go through and get a little hands on the instruments. Now, we've shot video on the XM2500 before, so that'll be a brief overview. And then we'll spend the majority of our time on the new meters, the XM3500, which is the four gas meter platform, and the XM8000. Uh, what's impressive about the XM3500, even though it's a four gas meter platform, you have six sensor choices. So you can do your standard O2, LEL, CO, and H2S but you also have the choice of an SO2 sensor and an NO2 sensor. If you bump up to the multi-gas platform, the XM8000, there are more than 30 sensor choices. And with the XM8000, we also have a true photo ionization detector. Uh, the PID in the XM8000 comes in two versions. You can have the PID high concentration version that would read zero to 2,000 part per million, or you can go with the part per billion version PID and that would read from zero to 10,000 part per billion or 10 ppm, same thing. So as we begin talking about the new XM3500 and the XM8000 from Draeger, they both share some unique new features. Uh, that includes a built-in sampling pump. And what's really cool about this built-in sampling pump is it has a pump cap that attaches to the front of the instrument. Uh, there's a small magnet in there that would activate the pump. If you remove that pump cap, you can actually run the meter in diffusion mode. So I think it's really cool that you have an instrument that can be both diffusion and pumped depending on what you're doing with the meter that day. It also has a much larger display and full color, so really easy to look at, and a zoom function so that you can actually zoom in to each sensor that's being displayed on your instrument just makes the text larger so that it's easier to read, especially if you're on a hazmat team trying to look through both a a full face shield and a visor on your level A suit. And finally, color coded LEDs. So when everything is working properly with the instrument, you'll see a green flash at the top of the meter. But then as it starts moving into alarm conditions, you'll have yellow LEDs to give you that first warning and then red LEDs when you're in full alarm. Additionally, the XM8000 offers three additional features. It has five sensor positions but with the use of dual purpose sensors, we can read anywhere between one and seven gases. The XM8000 also offers a smart assist feature to help you do either confined space entry, to help in leak sourcing, or to use a benzene pre-tube if you're in the petrochemical industry. And then finally, the XM8000 has Bluetooth capability. So you can download a free app off your web store to your phone and then connect your instrument to your cell phone to be able to email reports right from the meter to whoever you need to in your organization. So first, let's talk about these older instruments. These meters have been out for a long time. It's a very solid platform. And I just wanna show you some of the features and benefits that you have on the XM2500. That's the older version of Draeger's four gas meter. And then the XM5000, the multi-gas platform. So let's start with the XM2500. It's a four gas meter. It has four sensor positions. One of those is going to be oxygen. Another one's going to be your LEL sensor. And then you can pick two additional toxic sensors from a list of four, CO, H2S, SO2, and NO2. As you can notice, it has a monochrome display. Uh, it is plenty of room to show you the information that you need. And then it's a diffusion instrument, only diffusion. If you needed it to be a pumped instrument, 
you would use the Mark II pump to attach to the top of the meter. So let me show you how that works. You would take your instrument with the Mark II pump, put it over the sensor area, and then just snap down until this locks into place. And now your XAM2500 is a pumped instrument. Next is the multi-gas platform, the XAM5000. The XM5000 can do an oxygen sensor, an LEL sensor, and then you have your choice of about 28 different toxic sensors. One of those is an electrochemical organic vapor sensor for detecting volatile organic compounds. But the XM5000 didn't have a true lamp-based PID, photoionization detector, so that's one of the exciting features about the new XM8000 that I'll talk about in just a second. When it comes to charging, either the XM2500 or the XM5000, you can use this charging cradle right here. The easy way to tell if your meter is running on alkaline batteries or the rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery are the contacts on the back of the instrument. The contacts are the telltale sign that this is a rechargeable meter and they just marry up with the contacts that are in the charging cradle. So you just drop that in the cradle and then when this is plugged into the wall, it will recharge the batteries. You can also bank these cradles together to run several in line to be able to charge all your meters on one plug-in. So now let's shift gears and let's talk about the new XM3500 and the XM8000. This is Draeger's new four gas and multi-gas platform. Of course, the XM3500 is the four gas meter. You have four sensor positions. You'll choose an oxygen sensor, an LEL sensor, and then two more toxic sensors, either CO, H2S, SO2, or NO2. The XM8000 is the multi-gas platform. So once again, we've got the ability to choose oxygen, LEL, but you have five sensor positions, and we have high power sensor positions that are gonna give us the ability to use infrared sensors, Infrared sensors could be set up to detect uh, explosive gases, including methane. We could also use an infrared sensor to detect carbon dioxide. We can also add a true photoionization detector to the XM8000. And then you have color-coded LED lights. So when the meter has been fully bump tested and calibrated, you'll have a flashing green light. If you get into a low alarm condition, you'll have LEDs flashing in yellow. And then when you get into high alarm condition, the LEDs will flash red. So again, another unique feature on this new platform, the XM3500 and the XM8000, is the built-in sample draw pump. So as you can see, the way I have the meter set up right now, this is diffusion mode. So it's responding to the gases that are just right around this sensor area. But if I take this pump cap and add this to the instrument, one little screw in the middle and a built-in magnet, tells the instrument that now the pump cap has been attached and you can hear the pump has started to run. So the on-screen prompt is asking me to do a pump stall check. So I'll just put my finger over the inlet, wait for the beep, and now it's confirming with this green check mark that my pump is working properly. Finally, another new feature that Draeger added to the XM3500 and the XM8000 is inductive charging. So no longer do you have contacts on the back of the instrument that could become corroded or pins on the charger that could get broken or bent. We have inductive charging. So this charger has no contact points. It charges inductively. So you basically just take the instrument, set it in the cradle, and of course when it's plugged in, you'll have a light here showing you that it's charging. And then when this burns green, you know that your battery is fully charged. If you happen to put the instrument in the charging cradle while it's running, the cradle will actually power down the meter so you can go into charging mode. And again, you can bank multiple chargers together so that you can create a complete system for however many Draeger XM3500 or Draeger XM8000s that you have in your fleet. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what the packaging looks like if you just order it in the cardboard box only. So it's gonna open up like this, and in the lid of the box is where all my literature is gonna be. They have a full instruction manual in there, 
And I always recommend, because this is a life safety device, you should read through the instruction manual at least once. Take it with you on your lunch break, read through the book. This instrument could save your life and it's important for you to know how it operates. Once you've read through the book once, then really all you need is the quick reference card. And so you get a quick reference card that's applicable to both the XM3500 and the XM8000. And then inside the box, of course, you have your instrument. If you pull this piece of uh, cardboard out, underneath you've got some literature for the sensors that are installed. You also have your pump, assemb your pump cap assembly. Remember the platform comes with both pump and diffusion options. When you add the pump cap is when the pump kicks on for the meter. And then you have your inductive charging base if you order the instrument as rechargeable with the lithium ion battery. So this is how it would come if you do not opt for the hard case. If you do go hard case, you get this nice kit. And so nice Draeger logo on the front. A couple of uh, nice latches here on the front. I also noticed that they have these uh, lugs here and that's for stacking multiple kits together. And of course, inside, you've got a nice setup. Again, your literature in the top of the case. You've got your instrument here. You've got your inductive charger. Just like in the other kit, you have your pump assembly cap. And then, as mentioned, on the XM8000, it comes with a shoulder strap. So this bottom piece can be connected to a shoulder strap that automatically comes with the XM8000. So again, it gives you options. You can get it in a cardboard box, but you can also get it in a hard case.